Hey everybody, welcome to my uh, quickie quickie lesson of the day. Uh, I want to cover this um, this little harmonized uh, movement, which you see quite often in blues and uh, all kinds of different country stuff. Uh, and this is more of a, a chicken picking approach to this, by the way, as you can tell. Uh, but it's also a very good way to exercise this for for muscle memory and get very familiar with. Um, just what's going on with this. Um, so I'll get right to the lick. So I'm in dominant one, four, five in the key of G. And the first uh, lick is basically this uh, pattern here. Okay, off of the uh, G chord. And then I also include this pattern here. Okay, so what I do for the first one is I do a little bit of a pull off. And then when I go to this one, this is this is like, and this is all still just based off a G half bar. If you can see this chord here, the beginning point for th this one is here. And then the beginning point for this one is right off the first two notes of the half bar here. And this is um, kind of doing a one in major third. And then it goes to this shape, which is like a one in minor third. Kind of. And then a chromatic. So first one. And the second one's here. And then when we go to the four chord of C7, I'm just doing the exact same thing off of this position here, which would, would be this. And then the other one is based off of this. Right? And then we're back to G. Now, when I go to the, the five and the four again for the turnaround, I switch it up. And instead of going way up here for the D, um, I decided to do it down here. So you have another option, or you can see that there's another option of doing this up here like this. So I do this for the D, and this, this is only one measure per each of these chords, so you only have time to do that one. And then the C is right off of this. And those can also be pull-offs with open strings. back to that so that in a nutshell is the is the lick and um the picking uh, it, it, i'm doing is just really the, the using a pick and then a middle finger so every time i pick the first note i use the middle finger to kind of give that a pull and and, and it is kind of an aggressive thing if you want to get that chicken picking kind of thing you you basically almost take that and pull it pull it away and give it a good pull like a clock like that so so that's the, the general idea. So for each one, the, the pattern is the same for the one in the C, the, the, the one in the four chord of the G and the C. And then um, when I go to the turnaround, I, I move them down here. So I'm going to play that at a slower tempo now, just, just, um, just so you can get an idea of what it, what it would be slower. I don't want to do everything too fast. And uh, so let's try this at a slower tempo. Here we go. Whoops, I'll switch here. And then switch. And, and this is the low ones. Back to G. One more time. that's pretty much the idea so and, and again this is all about just doing this repetitively and once you get into soloing you don't necessarily need to do that for every chord change but um, you can get very familiar by doing this it's more of a muscle memory thing you're doing the exact same thing over and over again it, and it's going to get you comfortable with that whole idea of picking and, and doing the finger for the secondary note and you don't have to do the pull off you can just 
But the pull-off does make it sound more like a chicken picking or, or crunchy kind of thing, which I love the sound of. So uh, that's it. And then again, if you want to change the key, it's just very simple. Say if I was in E and then going E, D, and E, I just base this off the half bar of the A now, and then my pattern would be right here. And then again right here. And then if I go to the D, I could choose to go up here. If I have an electric, I have lots of room to do that. If there's a if there's a, an acoustic with no cutaway, it might be a little bit of a, a challenge. So I might decide to go to the D here. So that that's another way uh, to do it. You, you can easily convert these to other keys, and then if you have run out of room going high, just go low. So that, that's so in C, I might go. And then when I go to the four chord, I might move it to, to this one. So anyways, that's it. Hopefully you can get some uh, mileage out of that lick and um, get comfortable with uh, playing that kind of a chord scale with the pull-offs to get that chicken picking thing going on. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. And um, I'll leave you. I'll, I'll, I'll sign out with a little bit more of this song here. And um, yeah, have fun with that. We'll see you next time.